Alright, so I made another thing in Besiege, and right now we're in the new, uh, new sandbox. So it's my little car, I call it the triple gun car, for, well, th that should be obvious why. Alright, well, again, let's like some of my other designs, it kind of requires some timing to get up here and grab the cannons at the right time, because I'm lazy and it's easier to design it this way. So, yo, uh, that's not good enough. There you go, that's like perfect right there. I suggest slowing the time down. This is on the, uh, is in the, um, workshop. I'll put a link in the description. So, just gonna put these up a little bit. These use the number pad keys. Eight, uh, brings it up. And, what was it? Two brings it down. Now, I didn't adjust the speed or anything on these. Um, the wheels and everything, the wheels are adjusted. Uh, the turning isn't. The only thing adjusted are the fans and the wheel speed. I believe the wheel speed. Aside from that, uh, not much else. So the fans here are O, as normal. They are reversed and um, I put them with the No Bounds mod on 5. So they are there to simply stabilize this thing because it can be very tippy. And they're on toggle so all you gotta do is press it and it continues to um, spin around like a uh, well, I didn't have anything funny to see yet prepared, so just imagine I said something cool. Um, anyway, so these here are all, of course, bound together, and this is something that you might want to use infinite ammo on to screw around, or if not, you can change the uh, no, change the cannon firings around to uh, what you please. But it's also four is left turret, six is right turret, and those are the number pad keys again. Uh, I do have a bit of ammo on now, so I'm going to put on the stabilizers. It fires well. This is just uh, with the standard ammo or standard cannons, power-wise. It's not um, it's not like high-powered, it's not low-powered, it's in the middle. Vanilla. So you got that going there. <clears throat> and the arrow keys, forward goes forward, back goes back, left. Well, they're reversed. It's always reversed there for some reason, but uh, yeah, you can turn there. At the moment, it is a right arrow. I mean, left arrow turns the wheels right for no specific reason, and right arrow turns the uh, wheels left for no specific reason. That's just how the siege does it. And of course, as you see here, they have sliders, and that is to provide some. Uh, a little kind of suspension right there, so you always have wheels on the ground, or typically always. And the things here, the propellers, allow you to sit here and, um, do. Oh, by the way, this is a spinning block there I used, because I thought that might have been more stable than wood. But, um, uh, yeah, see the spinning blocks here? They can help you when you do shit like this. Do not fall over. That and the suspensions they're on really help to absorb recoil. So let's just take it on a little bit of a um, speed or cruise or whatever you would want to call it. So we're gonna turn, can we turn, can we turn, can we turn, turn, turn? And this thing is not invincible at all. It's very susceptible to being destroyed. It's a light, light scout car I would say. With some firepower. So, let's see if we can take out that gravestone. I don't know if we can. My turret's shaking no. It doesn't think it can. At the moment, I don't have any um, cameras on it. But, uh, see, so yep, yeah, it's... Oh, it corrected itself. That's... I Wow, I'm surprised. I didn't know I could do that. Well, at the moment, I have no um, cameras on it at all, so there's no first person, no aiming down the thing. I might put some on, or you can just do it yourself, so that way you can have exact can uh, exact cameras wherever you want them. And uh, let's go over here, see if we can aim up and destroy this tower that's doing tower stuff. No one likes towers. Oh, no, no, don't you. You screw off. Douche. There he goes. I think it might be out of range, or at my maximum limited range, I don't know. Oh, no, we got it. That was surprisingly effective. 
And destroy this too, because why not? Yeah, I'm a great shot, as you can see. That's it's terrible. I... You know what? I can't even ram it properly. At least now I should be able to hit it. Probably just hit it with the turret. There we go, we got it, alright. And of course you um, can drop the cannons uh, with V. I'm not going to do that now, but you can drop them with V. You really can't pick up too much of them at the angles you can get. But uh, you can also, of course, just say extend these with another piston. Or uh, just use the cannon for one and have another um, two things just to grab stuff. So there, it's more of a design you can base stuff on and build off of. Or just have a quick little scout car to go around and explore. So you can see it's quite good on the uh, hills and everything. It will keep its balance with the fans on. And it's rather fast. And there we go. And it still took the turret off and the car still runs. So yeah, with the um, all the bracings I have, I put enough to make it very sturdy and connected. But as you can see, it can still very well be damaged. Uh, yeah. And like I said earlier, I'd again suggest using a slower speed here to uh, get that to just where you want. I like him to be in the middle of it just for aesthetics, but it doesn't matter much, I, I believe, if they're a little up or a little down. So here comes another test. We're going to put these cannons on maximum power. Our maximum uh, in game power, maximum vanilla power. And then we're gonna grab them, hopefully. Grab them. Grab. Fuck it. Mulligan. There we go. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is to see if they can, um, if the suspension can withstand the firing, or uh, the recoil force. And to see if it flips it over. Alright, so 100% speed. Alright, so as you see there, if you fire it too much, it becomes a little hard for the cannons and the um, thing to control. But uh, you can fire around, and it's not going to break the vehicle. If you do it rapid fire, it can, but you see, you still get two cannons there. Again, using infinite ammo. Uh, there you go, even on full power it can still function well. And it's a rather quick vehicle again, so you can get from place to place, go to the store, pick up your groceries, go to the dolphin store, pick up your dolphins, break off your turret. So that would be the, one of the only main issues too, is that the turret is very susceptible to breaking. But then I would say probably just don't go over things as quickly as possible. And it's not really grabbing him right there, but that's fine. You can also turn off the fans if you wish. Then that would be a bad idea. So let's try that again. Let's try and go up there. And Sorry if it's a little laggy. There we go. Let's get up on this thing. Let's get up here. And there we go. Suspension helps out a little. So here we are. Nice little car. Not the best thing. Not anything compared to like the other stuff you'll see with the Audis and stuff that people made. And like every freaking thing, uh, Loshirai, Loshirai, I can't say her name right. And everything she makes, which is absolutely immaculate. Like, I swear every one of her creations are probably on um, Dragcast and all those other YouTube channels. But I just want to make this video to show this thing, tell you the controls, and uh, remind you that um, a 15 minute call to Geico can save you up to 15% or more in car insurance. I, I'm not getting anything to say that I don't know why I do that, I do that all the time. Alright, well, um, that is it, and remember, if you stuff enough spaghetti down your pants, people will probably think you're really fucking weird. Bye.